Guys, I, I think this is it. We, we, we have no coins left. You can't do anything with 12,000 coins. I think this is gonna be my last mutt episode. No, I'm just kidding. The reason why we don't have any coins is because we got this you guy what? right here, the boss. Literally. Now, over the last couple of days, I got Boss Rob Gronkowski. I got a couple other 99s, which you guys will be seeing over the next few videos. The reason why you aren't going to see them today is because today is all about the big man. Rob Gronkowski, number 87. Now, here's a look at the rest of the team if you guys haven't seen it yet. I mean, obviously, we need to make a few upgrades. But we do have Maurice Jones do it running back now. If you guys missed all those videos, I'm not even going to get into it. You're just, you know, completely lost. And then here's a look at the defense. Uh, kind of like a budget defense. I mean, I don't want to say budget defense, but it's a lot worse than it was. But these guys can still get the job done. Alright guys, I will warn you, if you guys see a lot of Gronk today, I mean, it's for a reason. We're going to be forcing him the ball, trying to make a bunch of plays, and yeah, just see how good he really is. First, we're going to have to get this guy off the field, because right now, he is taking a lot of time off the clock, because he just keeps on running with Marshawn. Oh, come on. Look at this, man. He's already chewing clock. Come on now. You're, you're better than this. I mean, obviously you're not, but you should be better than this fullback dive, really. We're playing one of these guys. I don't think we're ever going to get an offense. Just don't get... How is this fun? How are you just going to continuously fullback dive? And how is he going to run over Vince? Like, now I'm just getting frustrated. Oh, okay. He's one of these guys. He's going to run fullback dive and halfback toss every play. I already know what he's running. He's running halfback wheel. He's going deep. Come on, break it up. Hey, there we go. That's what you get. That's what you get. All right, let's see how good Gronk really is. Can we lob it up to him? Like, is that a thing? Is that a thing? Go up and get it, baby. Okay, that was a really bad idea. Oh gosh, he's got so many guys open, but he made a terrible read. All right, come on guys, get to stop. Please, please, I'm begging you. Don't throw it there. Triple team, triple team. There we go. All right, come on TD. Let's not throw an interception this time. Let's actually make the right read. Look at, we got Gronk wide open. Come on, break that tackle. He's bringing a blitz. We got Gronk again, and Gronk's gonna get in the end zone. I mean, I'm not sure if that's so much of him being a boss, or he just kind of played bad defense. Regardless, the Brady the Gronk combo feels pretty good. I haven't used it once this year in Mutt, so this is definitely exciting for me. Now that he's down, maybe he'll start passing. Maybe he'll just start passing, and maybe we won't get interceptions, but it was still, still a good effort. If he doesn't get this, he's probably going to quit. And to be honest, I really don't want him to quit, so I'm not even that mad that he got it. Oh, screenplay, pick six, let's go. Come on, go Roby. Oh, he's no way he's catching him. There we go, that's what you get. I mean, usually I don't like trash talk my opponents, but this guy plays kind of annoying, so. All right, here he is with his onside kick, and. Uh-oh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I thought he was actually gonna recover that, and how did he not? All right, I have no words for what's going on in this game right now. I just want to get some highlights with Gronk, so we're just going to pass it to him, see if he can break some tackles. That's what I want to see, Gronk dragging defenders. All right, he finally went zone, so we're just going to toss it up for Gronk, see if he can catch it, and he can. Looks like he's bringing a blitz, but it's okay, because we got Gronk right across the middle. Come on, fight for some extra yards. A huge knock on this Gronk card was people were saying his route running was only a 91. We're going to find out on this play right here how good it really is. Look at that. There's no problem with that 91 route running. Guys, I'm going to let this guy score. I'm going to leave Steve Smith wide open. He can, he doesn't even throw it to the guy wide open for the touchdown. I mean, I'm trying to let you score, and he still won't score. All right, now I'm blitzing all my corners. I'm letting you score. Just streak someone. I'm streak someone. There you go. He's open. He's open. Thank you. That was just so difficult. You're really going to dive in the end zone? But that was just so difficult for him for some reason. Oh darn, blown coverage, another touchdown. All right, back on offense. Now it's time to see what Gronk can do. It's 21-14. We got Gronk wide open across the middle. All right, guys, so in this play, I actually put Gronk at wide receiver one. We're going to see what he can do at wide receiver. Come on. He's got a safety there. We're going to throw it up for him, though, and we got... Oh, he dropped it. Wow, okay. I'll be honest, that's a bit surprising because he has, like, 100 catching traffic or something crazy like that. But, hey, I guess he's not going to catch them all, but he catches that one. For another touchdown, and I guess he's going to do the LeBron celebration. I prefer the Gronk spike. All right, come on. Let's lock up in the red zone. Or let's give him a touchdown. Okay, that one he actually kind of earned. Now we're going back to Gronk. And look at his route running. It doesn't feel bad at all. And you guys can see he pretty much carries defenders every single play. Let's see if we can put him away with one final Gronk touchdown. Let's just throw it up. Go up and get it. 
And another interception. Wow. All he keeps running is halfback wheel. So if he runs it again, oh no, he's going with another screen. Vince. Ah, oh, dang it. I'm just saying, Vince has a couple interceptions in his career. So I wouldn't have been surprised if he snagged that one. But now in second and 10, we got to get another stop. And they, oh, wow. What a play by him. He's actually, he's not going to score. I would laugh so hard if he somehow messes this up because he chose not to score and we're gonna make it hard for him to score. All right, come on, he's going to toss. Get there, get there, nice play, JJ Watt. Now it's fourth and goal and the pressure's on him. Come on, let's get to stop. We're there. Finish him. Hey, there we go, that's what you get. He could have scored, he could have tied this game up. Instead, he tried wasting clock so I wouldn't get the ball back and he doesn't end up scoring at all so now he loses the game. All right, one more play just for the heck of it. Let's throw it up. Let's see if Gronk can go and get it. And he is going to catch that one. Unfortunately, it wasn't in the end zone, but we're walking away with a 28-21 victory. Let's look at Gronk's stats, man. 11 catches, 173 yards, three touchdowns. I'm not going to say he's worth 2 million coins. He feels like he plays really well. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know. There's just some cards to me that like feel really good when they play, like David Johnson. So yeah, I'm not going to say he's worth 2 million coins, which is what I paid for him. I mean, maybe like 1.2, 1.3, but... The jury's still out. We'll play some more games with them. And like I said, we're bringing in a couple more 99 overalls this week. So stay tuned for that.